and I'm back with more Pixel League. Episode 2. Goal is to get the gather all the apricorns and find a goat good place to build a home. Ooh, those are actually both blue. Nice. I needed both of those. I will have to wait till they uh, spawn up then. Oh, almost got another white one. Oh, there's a red one. Need the red one. Perfect. That's all of the colors. So the entire episode's goal has been finished in the first few minutes. We'll see you next episode. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting they go in my inventory, even though I wrote that code. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit derpy. Uh, but at least I now have a decent stack of food. That'll get me going for at least a little while. Come on, finish closing your flower so I can steal one of the blue ones. And then have all seven. Oh, I love this. I, I think I'm going to make my home in one of these bamboo forests. They look kind of cool. Come on, close the flower. Either one of you. Maybe I'll just look around for another blue one. There's a Zubat. Ooh, mushroom. Let's grab some of these. That'll be a good source of food. Magic art. Let's get Little Kipper leveled up. Talk to you in like a month. There's SPG. Hey. Seriously though, it's been a long time. <laughs> yep. Ooh, that's a blue apricorn. Yes, this battle was perfect. I'm glad I fought this magic carp. That is the last one I've got all seven. Sweet. Um, what level is your guy? Uh, level nine. Mine's twenty-five. Jeez. Well, I guess <laughs> I have been actually, you know, doing things that are productive for the group, and you've been. Off on your own training for your own. I purposes. was doing that, but then I got demotivated once I died and lost everything. <laughs> I blame you after I trapped you in a wall. <laughs> you still recording? Yep. Okay. I knew that was you. Well, I would assume it was because when I saw her walking away, I would assume you saw my name through the wall. No, I didn't. Oh. I, well, I just I from the behavior, it was obviously an SPG thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even deny it, just, yeah. You know, you know, turning the, uh, hell die, or keep inventory off and then back on after you died, you know. That's a ghost thing to do. Yeah. That was planned, wasn't it? Um, I'm gonna no. say yes, just to take credit it, for it. It's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, you're, s this is your first episode still, right? Or are you just playing? Nope, this is the second episode. Oh, okay, I should probably start mine. Um, I'm gonna mute myself. Wall. Oh, okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah, I'm gonna mute myself to do my intro. Alright, that's plenty of coal. I've got one of each apricorn, so I can start an apricorn farm. We can start pumping out pokeballs. Because, yeah, it... And I only want to fight actually Magikarp right now, because Little Kipper is a modest nature, so that's going to. Increase special attack, and then decrease uh, attack. And that's actually a really great nature. And so by killing only Magikarp, I'm only adding speed EVs to myself. So we can actually check that. Um, EVs 1. Yeah, so we only got 4 speed EVs right now. And that way I can make sure I get him built perfectly. Because he's going to be a beast. Little Kipper shall kill them all. I've come to the conclusion, I'm gonna do what I did last time, just train up my Torterra and then get something half decent, and then go from there. Because yeah, I'll EV train no matter what, because I decimated the only person that knew what they were doing. Um, on the last serve, okay, not decimated, but I still beat him. Um, so, I'll probably EV train. It's just... Is that another black one? Uh, yes. I don't even know where you are. Oh, wait, no, I think I, I double back on myself. Yeah, this is where I started out before. That's why it's, everything's picked. We found some pumpkins. 
I have one of those, and okay. then I died. Ooh, and pumpkin plus, what is it, milk makes pumpkin pie, which is one of the and best sugar. foods. Ah, and well, I have reeds as well, so I am set for food. We should smack Heroku. The battle interface is just fantastic to look at. I mean, let's just... I'm using Terrace as texture packs. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Well, I wouldn't... Which actually, for some reason, doesn't break, which is doesn't amazing. Make any sense. Like, with how it's set up, you'd think it would still break because it's just text going off the screen. Yeah, it's brilliant. It works perfectly. Even with double battles. Oh, looks like they're a little bit of an Apricorn farm starting out. I can say my intro for the first episode was better than everyone else's, unintentionally. <laughs> I had shaders. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> and steak. So I don't know what the plan is, whether we're all going to be one big happy family, or whether this is going to be a little bit more competitive. Um, so I kind of want to make my own base, because I've got all the supplies necessary. <laughs> I think we're kind of doing it, just set everything up to help each other out, and then <gasps> okay, we go off on our own. So I think it's more oh, of a... Oh, I got a moon ball. Let's go catch oh. us a Pokemon. Oh, I'm right next to a Z-Buff. Eh, I don't really want to catch a moon Pokemon with it, though. It's still worth a Pokeball, so I mean, I can catch something else. I guess. And my Grottle's dead. How about you, Growlithe? You look interesting. Ah, uh, man, I, I forgot to change the game noises. There's still the, uh, the voice acting. I hate it so ah, much. Ah, you little... Kill you? Roar. Ah. Okay, not a Growlithe to start. Once I have more patience, I'll go after one of them, because they're pretty much just going to throw Pokeballs at them until they catch. Yes, I found my favorite method of murder. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really don't want to climb the canyon. Ah, it's not going to be a pleasant climb. Ooh, surface coal. I'm loot whoring a little bit this episode. Yeah, well, it's not a ghost episode without doing that now, is it? Nope. Ooh, and there's something glowing over on that cliffside. It's probably lava, but I'm going to go check it out anyway. Could be a mine shaft or something. Uh, no, it's too high for it to be mine shaft. Let me dream. Let me dream. Okay. Well, I sit here at the fax machine healing Pokemon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that reminds me. Did you see what I was doing with uh, Kyogre and Groudon? I did believe I saw some shrine-ish looking things. Yeah. You know what month that is? Follow me on Twitter. Hashtag <laughs> shameless flex. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I really should get that sh that uh, trending hashtag shameless flex. <laughs> <laughs> Just have it only like, every time a YouTube video posts to Twitter automatically. <laughs> Just shameless plug. <laughs> like um. In the in the install tutorial, every time someone reads it, blatantly in the bottom corner, it's my server IP. It's like, shameless plugs for the win. <laughs> Alright, let's peek in over here and see if there's anything to this besides lava. I can already hear the lava. The hell is this? Oh, it's hardened. Stir oh, wow, that is a lot of lava. Also, um, I feel like you were the first printer. Yeah, first person I should inform you about this. You know how I always say cheese it for no apparent reason? Mm hmm. It's not Twinkies. Mmm, Twinkies are good. I like yeah. cheese it's, except sometimes you get a bag that's a little bit burnt. I haven't had either in months, and I just say I'm randomly, because why not? Twinkies do sound good right now. I should probably get some after this. Mmm. And while we're plugging things, if Mountain Dew wants to sponsor either or both <laughs> of us. <laughs> Speaking of Mountain Dew, is I don't have that anywhere near me. One second. Uh, but I, I do love this multi biome mod. I'm so so happy I uh, coded that, which probably won't be released by the time this video comes out, but it'll be out soon. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I'll be right back. I have to do something interesting. I can only assume he's going to get a Twinkie. could assume more inappropriate things, but we'll assume he's just going to eat a Twinkie. Alright, 
enough, enough mining in the dark. I need to do something interesting for you guys. Oh, wow, it's day... Oh, I almost jumped in the lava. That would have been bad. Let's just skirt around that. Alright. I need to find a good place to live. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I have something incredibly important to tell you. Are you ready for this? This is groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> it's a Mountain Dew. I guess Twinkie, but I figured it was one of the two. No, I don't have Twinkies in my house. Damn it, now I'm hungry. I really do want a Twinkie. I don't know if I can even find Twinkies. I know they sell them again, but I don't know where. Well, if we ever have a nuclear apocalypse, we'll be fine because we'll survive. Mm -hmm. Those and clipboards. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> You've never played Fallout, do you? have you? No. Every I've single never... clipboard in existence. No, I've never played Fallout, which is funny because I knew the the please stand by thing was from Fallout when we did the charity event. Yeah. No, in Fallout, the, like a lot of the loot and like desks and stuff will just be nothing but clipboards. <laughs> so clipboards are like the strongest thing resisting a nuclear apocalypse. Well, Unfortunately, I, I really hope whenever they come out with Fallout Four, they let you make armor out of clipboards. <laughs> Well, according to Family Guy, Twinkies are the next best thing. And I believe I've heard rumors that they liquefy into alcohol after about 30 years, but I'm calling that an urban legend until I see proof. <laughs> oh, I want to get a Kangaskhan or a Ditto. Uh, Kangaskhan would be so good if we had Mega Evolutions, which we're not adding for a very long time. And even then, the first one is still only Mega Magikarp, so... Yeah. Actually, thank you for bringing that up. Ooh, Nidoran Mail. I have a Moon Ball. Let's go for we... this. I had to slap so many people after you said that statement. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, we're not getting Mega Evolutions. Go said so. We're only getting Mega Magikarp. It's like, what drug are you on? <laughs> I mean, we already got cooked Magikarp and Zombie Gyarados. I figured let's, you know, expand the line out a little bit. <laughs> All right, come on, Moonball. Catch me a Pokemon. No, but your little fan base went around saying that we're not adding Mega Evos. Like, God damn it, Ghost. Said we're not adding Mega Evos for a while. Yeah, well, some people are deaf. <laughs> I caught it. It has... Uh... Okay... I have an unnamed ability that says the opposing team gains an intimidating leer with sharp eyes. The opponent's team's defense stats are reduced. I don't know what that is. Oh, sorry. I'm reading the description for leer. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. I'm still not used to the ability screen. God damn it, guys. I was like, okay, I got rivalry. Deals more po damage to Pokemon of the same gender. Ooh, that's a really good one for a Nidoran male. Hardy nature. Which I believe buffs defense. I need to sit there and modify the UI so it just shows you what it gets raised and lowered on the yeah. stat screen. Because just change the color of the text. It's not hard. We also need to slap Roku to add more uh, abilities. Hey, we got abilities at all. Which means the Ghastly line is amazingly overpowered because it's immune to ground now. Exactly. That's why I don't think we should have added abilities. Is because <laughs> stuff like that. It's like... I'm all up for OP, like you've seen the teams I've created, but like it's something where if we're gonna add one, we have to add it all, or it just completely screws everything up. Wild Tauros. No, oh, found another oh, desert. Not slow, bro. Oh, I could have caught a trap in. Sure, yeah. I will catch one of everything. That is my series goal. Real, real, real. <laughs> Which means Does that include heal or evolving or no? That means each one of them yeah, in a I unique think. version is sitting in the PC. So there'll be a Bulbasaur, an Ivysaur, and a Venusaur. Yeah, I did that in Soul Silver. Maybe I'll catch one of each line and just finish the Pokédex. Yeah, we hopefully that actually happens to you where um uh, your PC craps out and you can figure out. No, I'm not saying that to be a dick. I'm just saying that. Um, it's like we can figure out what the hell happened. Oh, you mean like not taking daily backups of the entire thing? So no, that way we are. We did it before. I don't know why, but we are now. But, like, it was just, uh, holy gold duck. It was just one of those things where it caught everyone off guard, and 
I don't know. So is, it, is that I, a new saying, or are you actually looking at a gold duck? I'm looking at multiple many gold ducks. Like, there's tons. Oh, right. They're still spawning in groups. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, Flygon. It's my favorite Pokemon. I think I'm going to make another team. <sighs> Thunderstone right Shard, up. but I don't really feel like climbing up to get it. Yeah. I'm lazy. <sighs> oh, I found another Savannah. So we apparently have a spawn that is in the hot area of the world. Which is not really going to be good for most Pokemon. <laughs> nah. It is good for surface coal. There's like ridiculous amounts of it, and I'm going to annoy people by mining every block of it. Because those Apricorns for all those Pokeballs need to cook. <laughs> yeah. Plus it's a great way to, yeah, great way to get experience. Oh yeah. I need to... Oh man, that means I have to find diamonds to make a enchanting table. Yeah. At least I have the reeds to make the books. Like, I think I have all of the basic supplies that you really need. Leather? I don't have leather, but I mean, you can find that off of camera ups and mill tanks and tauroses. Not to camera ups, I mean. Mill tanks and tauros. Yeah, camera ups kind of weird if it was giving you leather. <laughs> yeah, I still like the fact that they drop the food now. And they drop everything from the end except... Soul Sand, because I totally forgot to add that to Diglett and Dugtrio. Yeah, no, they're demons. No, but they're dirt. I mean, you know, they might have yeah. sand. Oh, a little Shinx. I really want a Shinx on my main team, though. Well, yeah, speaking of Shinx, just, just as crap about that. Want to talk about that? Uh, probably other times. We need to get back to that. Oh, no, but on a serious note, for some reason, this made me remember it. Um, the modeling team may actually beta test the next beta. So that's going to be interesting. Wait, when we right-click trees, does it just put it right in your inventory now? Apricorns? Yep. Nice. Wrote that. Although I think JP fixed a crash relating to it. Yeah, we were talking about your code the other day. We've noticed that most of what you do is very luck-based. Luck-based? Most, yeah. Like, you do a lot of the spawning and all that stuff. It's technically luck-based. No, basically what I do is I do a lot of things that are based on, like, not interaction code. It's more like back-end stuff. Yeah. Also, I have a Torterra now. Holy crap. Little Kipper is level 9. I'm level 32. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I need to stop mining. Like, it's just this obsessive thing when I'm, like, talking in Minecraft. It's like, I have to be doing something, and if there's coal nearby, it's like, I want it all. Yeah. Ooh, yes, I'm glad we fixed that. I now have Earthquake. Oh my god, I'm gonna wreck shop. Oh, so there's a magical thing that happens during every new release in Pixelmon. Electabuzz keeps Thunder Punch, but Elekid and Electivire always forget or always lose the move Thunder Punch off their learn set. Does that make sense? I have no idea how it keeps happening, but I've restored it four times. So it's just a little pet peeve of mine. <laughs> and everything's on fire. There's just lava everywhere with this generation. Oh, well, this is 7th gen. I don't know how that made any sense, but I'm I... just going to go... Yeah, and... What, 7th gen? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Oh, that's tricky. There was lava underneath the sand. If I'd fallen through that hole, I'd have died. <laughs> <gasps> Guess what I just found. Pokey loot? No, well, yes, but no. Hmm. I found a chance. Ooh. If it kills me, I'm going to be amazed. All right, having all this coal in my inventory bugs me. Holy crap, they gave 10,000 experience. Oh, I love you, Chansey, so much. Yeah, they are really OP when it comes down to experience. Yeah, I just wish I had Pokeballs, because I want another Blissey. The thing did so much. Okay, Torterra's dead. I'm not going to bother getting... You had getting... a Blissey? Yeah, on the last series of this server, I had a Blissey. And it served me very well. They killed the Salamence. <laughs> wow. How did a Blissey kill a Salamance? Just toxic, toxic. and healing? Protect. Actually, no, healing didn't. Like, healing almost killed me twice because Softboiled failed for me. 
How did wait? How does soft boil fail? Is it a chance? I thought it was a hundred percent. I don't know. I think it's something wrong with our trade. And for all I know, it just doesn't even work. Crap! 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 Hate yeah. deserts. I hate deserts. Need to watch where I'm going. Freaking quicksand. Are we using cauldron? Yep. Okay, that would explain shot. Yeah, I'm currently working on figuring out how to fix that. It bugs me. Yeah, it bugs me too. Especially when I make little hearts. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to start doing something. Another lava pool. Oh, I move so slowly now. There's no food in the desert. There's base camp. But I want to find some cooler biomes. A flower forest, I think, is actually, or sunflower plains, are actually some of the coolest new biomes to set up camp in. Yeah, it's kind of funny because sunflower is actually my favorite type of flower. I don't know why. Did they drop sunflower that. seeds? Uh, Are anything edible? Ow! No. Cactus. But if they do, it's because the biomes are plenty, or some other mod that we have on this. Yeah. Uh, okay. So really, all those extra flowers are not really adding anything. They add dyes for some. I don't All know right. about some. I found a marshland cool. of some description. Is there marsh tops? It is a step. I guess it's not really a marsh. Apparently I have blazer rods. I can make potions now. Oh, I got the epic music. Dude. I have my music turned off, I think. Yep. Oh, I need to make a fancy base somewhere, but I want the base to be somewhere cool. That bamboo forest is really tempting, but that's right at spawn. I'm not going to be making a base until I get all the acorns, at least the essentials. Yeah, so you already got mine, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen a single tree that hasn't been to me, that hasn't been planted by oh, us. Oh, oh, I see some more magic art. Let's get some more levels on Little Kipper. Of course, they're like level 8. <gasps> Yay, free peanut on the ground. Hurrah. Wait, this isn't Jeff Donald. What? Oh, uh, you know who that is, right? I believe so. He has a puppet called Peanut. Yeah, there you go. I knew it was, the, it was either the puppet guy or one of the other stand-up comedians. Yeah, one of my college roommates loved him, so I saw several of his shows. Yeah, speaking of which, how's living on your own? I love it. Mostly with the wonderful discovery of I can put stuff in my freezer and people don't eat it. <laughs> Have I told you the story about the XLX brownies or XLX chocolate chip cookies? No. You know, I probably shouldn't because someone is going to try it. It's a very irresponsible story. But anyway, the, the XLX chocolate chews look a lot like chocolate chunks and. We had a really bad problem in our college dorm. There was a community fridge, and we put some stuff in there, and it got eaten. So we decided to bake a couple dozen cookies, and those got eaten. And so that was several very painful hours of bathroom time for the culprits. Yes. After that, food stopped disappearing from the fridge. <laughs> you actually have told me this story. It's just stuff. It took me a moment to remember it, but it's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, do not do that at home, kids. I actually found out later that it's, if they eat too many of them, it actually is dangerous. Uh, well, they ate your food, so it's fine. It's, it's all fair and hate and war. There's no love in this. The hell? Oop. Oh, on the subject of school, this is actually my last year, so yay. Hurrah! Ugh. Come on. So, apparently, despite all my best efforts to fix the drop system, Magikarp still don't drop fish. I think it's because they added new fish, and I didn't account for that. I don't they, see why that would matter, actually. Their damage values. Because rather than, you know, adding a new item, it's like, oh, let's make it fish damage value 1, fish damage value 2. Kind of like the flowers. I was going to have, like, Venusaur and Blossom and stuff like that drop flowers, but... Wouldn't be bothered. Well, no, but it, uh, having to do all damage the damage values. values, yeah. Ink was a hard enough one to get working, and that one finally did work. Random um, giraffe rig at the bottom of a hole. 
I'm going to cut away because mining's boring and Torterra's dead. So have fun. Yes. I will continue journeying in this direction and yeah, we'll probably pick up in the next episode. <gasps> and I see a forest. This is the perfect time to cut. We'll see you next time.